what a beautiful day for the game of golf golfers uh yeah so today's video is a bit of a practice uh also the break 100 as we're going around the course um rather than me keep stumbling and pulling the card out and making sure i get things right in the top right hand corner it will give you the name of the hole and and the stroke index and then obviously you'll have down the side you'll have the um from what tee position it is for the yards just something so i would have to keep stumbling around with with cards uh yeah don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the channel everyone um just onto the 10th the uh just played the the front nine uh, a little bit sketchy but it's a practice day and we're here just to enjoy ourselves aren't we so yeah so let's jump onto the first and uh we'll take it from there hole one par four just there's no obstacles really just a nice straight one but tight left in. Come on. Not a bad second shot. Um, I didn't catch all that five iron. That's what it's probably stalled. It's still got about 100 and we're going about 120 uh, to the green. I'm just going to use this five iron and just try and just try and get it back into the middle of our our own fairway to give me a shot at the green. And turn and turn and turn. Oh, shot left hand side. I'm just going to try and bump a pitching wedge on. And turn, and turn. Okay then, for a bogey. Okay, hole two, 170. That's the narrowest part on the course. We've, uh, I think it's nine yards in between these trees. Uh, down the fairway, it's got nine iron. Sorry, got a six iron. So you six iron there. That's one way going there, eh? <laughs> okay, got about thirty five yards. Um Five yards to the pin. So same again with the with the pitching wedge. Oh, get roll out, roll out. Yes, I was going to try and use the um, the nine iron. What I got from the, the Fat Golf Channel. Um, but if you watch the previous video to this, I did use it there and I knobbed it into the uh, into the bunker. But I should have used a 9 iron really because it would have had loud more roll out. I've got about a 35 foot putt here, so uh, I'll just try and get somewhere close and get away with a, with a bogey. Oh! I thought that was in then. For a bogey, then. Oh. Okay, hole four. Uh, this is a dog leg left. All the numbers and stroke index is on the top right hand corner. Um, yeah, this does go uh, go left. This one does. Oh, I don't know if you don't love it. 
I'm just going to try just a nice little, nice little swing. Nothing, no, no real power. Uh, yeah, so five iron. Uh, got 242 yards in. Just anywhere down the centre. Reason. Okay, not my bestest uh, second shot, but I'm just going to use a five iron. I've got about 147 to the centre of the green. Just going to use a five iron, just try and nudge it as far down as I can to the centre of the fairway. And go, and go. Okay, let 50 yards in. 50 yards in, just going to use a 9 iron and just try and bump it onto the green. Oh, I just need a bit more there. Go on then. Okay, so hole four then. Hole four, it's another par four. Uh, it's another dog leg left. Just swing through it. Don't try and, don't try and kill it, just swing through it. Okay, so I've just zapped the um, the furthest tree on the uh, left hand side. Uh, yes, yeah, so about 160 yards. So I'm going to take a seven iron. Um, so I'm going to get about 150 yards up. That should lead me in the centre of the uh, centre of the fairway. On head again. Shot. The five, then come on. Let's get out with a five. <clears throat> I 
Okay then, yeah, hole six, uh, par three. Uh, you can just see it in front of Sky, yeah? So you've got bunkers on the left. You have got a nice little uh, bunker on the right hand side here as well. It can, uh, to deepen like it catches you out. Uh, yeah, so 120 yards, it's got my pitching wedge. Just gonna stick with that smooth swing. So I'll try and whack the ball, just nice and steady and swing through it. Get on then. Oh, just short. Okay, it's just come short there, the pitching wedge. Um, but yeah, let's just try and bump another pitching wedge on. Let's try and get near the pin. Uh, then drop it in with a putt for a nice par. Come on then, for a par. A bogey then. Okay then, so hole seven is a par five. Um, just like most par fives, just long and straight. Let's try and get a driver up there. Black and white marker. Okay, so I've got 305 yards to go. Just try another five iron, eh? Try and get it as far as we can and leave us with a nice little chip on. And keep going. Sound. Right hand side of the. 118. Another five one, I suppose. It's the longest club I've got at the moment until I uh, until I start getting uh, some hybrids. Right then, five iron. The bestest club in the bag. Come on. Told you. Just sit. Oh, that's by the bunker. Not a bad five iron at all, that war. So I'm just going to use a, um, a pitching wedge. Just try and get it close. Come on, release a bit. Okay then, this is for five. Come on, let's get him for a for a par. Oh. A bogey then, I'll take it. We only cup golfers, we gotta take them bogeys when we get them. Okay, and so yeah, I oh, like this is the one uh, where the water's 220 on the right hand side. So the uh, on the left hand side, probably the best bet. Or into the trees. It's better than being out of bounds on the right hand side. Yeah, so that I'm much of a plazer really. Uh, just gonna use an eight, an eight iron. Just try and roll it forward, just before that ump, um, to give me a clear shot at the green.
Okay, it's not bad. Got uh, 38 yards to the centre. Should have dropped down to the 99 to try and get a bit of a uh, try and get a bit of a roll out, isn't it? Okay, then hole nine. Hole nine is a dog leg there. Dog right. Yeah, not a bad drive at all, really. Just lost me, uh, just dropped my bloody glove. Okay, so we've got 158 yards in. 158 yards in. Seven iron. Nice, easy, seven iron. I'll try and get it. Nice, easy, seven iron. Pull that a bit right. Sit before the bunker. Gone in the bunker. Well out. Not a bad, uh, not a bad bunker shot. Okay, so we need this for a par. You've got to hit it, aren't you? You have got to hit the ball. Keep leaving these short, don't I? Okay, then for a bogey. Oh, flipped out. Double bogey. Okay, hole 10 is a par 5, like most par 5s, nice and long. Um, it does bend left, not a dog leg left, but it does slightly bend left. Um, and on the right hand side, you got uh, some bunkers, which which are uh, two, so 181 to the back and 174 to the front. Uh, yeah, so we've got the driver, let's see what we can do. Straight, straight down the centre. Oh no, going a bit right now to the back bunker. I think that might have bounced in. Okay, here's one then for a practice day. Bunker, 250 yards out. Um, I'm going to go, it's not the lip's not that high. I'm going to go with a five iron. Um, see what we can do. Yeah, so anything wrong with that bunker shot just was me. You can see in the video, I tried to absolutely leather it for no reason. Um, I am trying to learn just to swing easy. You have that tendency to try and smash the ball and you don't need to. It's just, it, the power don't come from me trying to smash the ball. The power comes from just letting that club 
swing easy and release at the ball. Okay, 200 yards out, five iron. Like that look. Easy as you like. Front of the green. So that would have bad five iron at all, was it really? Like, like uh, what's that? That's a few yards off the green, is Nice, steady, easy swing. Okay, so I'm going to try and roll this in with a nine iron then. Um, I was thinking of using the pitching wedge, but it does need to roll a bit and the greens are a bit, uh, a bit damp, so the ball is slowing down. So, nine iron. Go on then. Four. Okay then, this is for par. Oh. Okay then, hole 11, it's another par four. Um, just aim towards that uh, house with the red roof in the background. Yeah, so that swing just, that drive, sorry. Um, sorry, I did it this way. Yes, yeah, so I've just I've just found the ball um, by these trees. I'm going to watch the video back because um, God, I put nothing on that and it's gone. So the tee box is all at the top. And I know it's trickled behind a tree, which is a bit of a, a bit of a bummer like, but look at that, where it's landed. That's gone further. I'll try and smash the snot. Okay then, 52 degree wedge. Just need to try and get it over the bunker on the left hand side. Oh, shot. Okay then, so this is for a birdie. I wouldn't mind, I'll settle for a par, but I wouldn't mind a birdie to bring the score down. The first part of the day. Oh, dipped out. Okay, so we're on the 12th. Got about 130, uh, 135 yards in. So I'd normally try and use a full nine iron. But one of the guys in the comments, well, um, he said, well, rather than trying to thrash, thrash a, uh, the normal club that you're using, just drop down one. So I'm going to drop down to an eight and try and hit an easy eight. Three quarter swing, easy eight. Left-hand side of that bunker. So that would have been eye trying to be fair, I mean, just off pin eye. Um, yeah, this, I'm going to try another 9 iron again. Um, yeah, let's get somewhere close to try and walk away with the par. And sit, and sit, and sit, and sit, and sit. Just have a... Yes, yeah, so I don't know if you noticed with all some of the most of these shots, the shots that I'm putting virtually not much effort into are absolutely giving some distance. I mean, look at that drive on the 11th. Um, that was uh, mad, three quarter swingy fair, and it went a country mile. Um, that 9 iron chip there, it was beautiful. Run ahead a little bit, but 
the less effort I'm putting in, I'm getting more more distance. Like, ah, that makes sense. But right for a par. You got to watch it, are yeah. I'll take a bow, okay? High handicap golf a lot, mate. Bow is a good. Okay. Hot 13. Par 5. Dead straight. Driver. Three quarter swing. Come on. Nice and easy. the 10th okay well for this tree I reckon that they went to another country mile so I should use a 7 iron and just bump a 7 iron through and just get a nice clear shot at the green oh, a bit further a bit further okay then so we've got 246 yards in um, just play another nice soft uh, 5 iron and then we can just chip on from there car way Come on then. Oh. Left hand. Yeah, so I've just pulled uh I've just pulled that one a little bit left onto the tenth fairway. I am gonna go with a five iron again, but I'm just gonna try and keep it low and just just bump it through and try and get to the front of the green. Okay then. Ooh, sit then, sit. To the back of the green then. Okay, so that so that wore a bad effort really through all those um through all that tree and you know, all that shrubs and things. I mean I know it's a little bit uh far but I'd rather be on the green then trying to bump it and get stuck into all that lot again. Yeah, so let's uh, let's try it. And turn then. And t oh, yeah, these sort of puts, because now it does absolutely dive off to the left here. That is it, is it iron off. This has to hole 14 then. This is my favourite hole. This is um, about 150, 120 yards to the centre of the green. Um, we've sort of raised here. Well, all the way around, it's all the bunkers, or pop bunkers all the way around. So if, you, if you're short, it catches it out. So I'm going to go with a wedge, nice soft wedge. Okay then, 58 degree work. Go on then. Okay then for a par. Come on, let's get a par. At least have one par today. Okay, so uh, it's on the opposite fairway. We've got 135 yards. So I'm just going to try a eight iron. Three quart swing eight iron. A throw. We throw. Um, okay, it's not a bad second shot. We've got 50. Seven yards to the centre of the green. So I'm just going to try a pitching wedge. Um, 
in there. Should really be using a 9-iron, shouldn't I really? But I'm just going to go with a pitching wedge. I pulled it left though. I pulled that left. We're on the green, that's the main thing. Again. I'll turn the club then like that. Ah, <sighs> five then, come on, let's get a par. Oh, straight past. Just battling, and I just keep battling. No joking, mate. Right, and so because it's a practice day, I'm going to try a little miracle shot. See, really, I should be chipping out to the left hand side and then playing the ball up. But I'm just going to try and go for this little miracle shot through these trees here. And let's get it to the front of the green. Oh, like that. And up. Oh, that's the best shot of my life. Sometimes them miracle shots do work, don't they? Come on then, this is for three. After that miracle shot through the trees, I deserve this for a birdie. Come on. Go on. Oh. <sighs> Take a par. Okay, then hole 17. Uh, yeah, just normal par four. Just nice and straight. Let's try and get this driver back going straight again because it keeps going right again for some reason. Five. <sighs> Or blade it straight at the back. Okay, home. on the 18th then, nearly home, nearly home. Nice little long par four. Hundred and ninety yards in. And a nice little ricochet off that tree then by the looks of it. Come on then, five iron. Seventy one yards in. Same again then. Fifty 58 degree wedge. Let's let let's make it stop it on the green. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> 